everyone. Welcome back to another exciting day in mathematics. Woo -woo. How's everybody doing? Good? All right, so warm-up number 31 is on the screen. Let's get started, please. Also, reminder, as we are approaching uh, fall and winter season in the valley, make sure you uh, up your your greens and your vitamin C and all that so you can get your immune system going. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get started. All right. So for the sake of time, I'm going to go over the warm-up once more just to make sure we got it. Here we go. Number 1A, GCF for those two numbers is 4. Is it 4? Yeah. Let's see. 4 times 3 and 4 times 10. Giant 1. So this is 3 tenths. Looks about right. All right. Number 1B. Factor completely. Let me go with the numerator first. DCF for this one is x. We're left with 2x plus 1. DCF for the denominator is x. We're left with x minus 15. So what's the same for our giant 1, x and x? That leaves us with? 2x plus 1 and x minus 15. Hands if you got something like that. Some of us, yes. All right, good. Number two, factor. Uh, negative 18 on the numerator, negative 7 down here. What two numbers multiply give me negative 18, and when you add them, give us negative 7. That is negative 9 and 2. Yes. X minus 9, X plus 2. Yeah, B. Yeah, that's if we have a negative on the lead coefficient. Yeah. So since the negative is not in the lead, we, we leave it in there. Yeah. Good question, though. Uh, number three, group. Uh, do we have GCF? No. Standard form, yes. So therefore, group, group. So GCF for these two is 3x squared. That leaves us with x plus 2. GCF for these two is 2. We're left with x plus 2. So what's the same here and here? X plus 2, yes. X plus 2. And what's left over? 3X squared plus 2. Ooh-wee. Uh, yeah, pretty good, yeah? All right. Let's go to number 4. Let's screw it up. Make some room here. Here we go. Plus 15X plus 15x, we got negative 3y equals 15x minus 12. And then we got divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, y equals negative 5x plus 4. All right, and then we're going to evaluate according to that domain, y equals negative 5, parentheses, plus 4, y equals negative 5, parentheses, plus 4, and y equals negative 5, parentheses, plus 4. So for this one, at negative 1, so this is y equals 5 plus 4, which is 9. This one at 0, we're left with y equals 0 plus 4, which is 4. And this one at 1, so this is y equals negative 5 plus 4, which is negative 1. We good, yeah? All right. And the last one. Here goes one more time the process. 
for number five. Make sure you're doing your process the way I'm showing you to how to do these. Bless you. So, what's GCF between 10 and 6? What is it? 2. So then that means if it's 2 for these two, then I can write 10 as 2 times 5, and I can write 6 as 2 times 3. Is that correct? All right. Bring down the 8. Bring down the 5. Okay. So here we go. So what does this denominator have that this one needs? A 5, right? So times 5 times 5. So now in order for the denominator to look the same, what does this one have that this one needs? The 3. So times 3 times 3. So let's write this as common denominator. This is 30, 30. This is 24, and this is 25. Common denominator of 30. Uh, so that is 49. You can leave it like that. Go. All right, we good? Copy the agenda, please. Warm up number 31. I'm going to revisit simplifying rational expressions just because on Thursday, I didn't get to the last two examples, and I left you a video portion of it with, uh, with the teacher, but I'm going to guide you through it just to make sure uh, everybody's on the same page. And I also left you some practice uh, yesterday with factoring because we need that for today. Just want to make sure that we got plenty of practice with that. Yes? Did it help with the difference of squares, some of you? Yeah? All right, good. Good catch. So warm-up number 31, simplify rational expressions. Tonight's home play, play sheet super Q, 1 through 15 odds. And the agenda is on your screen. Copy this code for the access to the uh, home play, 756IW. 756IW. Once again, reminder, we close the quarter over the weekend. Been uh, letting you guys know already ahead of time. So uh, bring it. Let's go. All right. 756IW. So uh, the home play is going to look something like this, very similar to something that you saw before. But like I said, we didn't get to these, which we are getting to today. So with that said, you got a Cornell note. I can simplify rational expressions. It's going to go pretty fast because I want us to get to the practice portion together, okay? So stay with me, please. So I can simplify rational expressions. I can simplify rational expressions. Remind your neighbor what's the concept. For so, uh, so far for today, what concept are we on? It's our main idea. Jesus concept. Rational expressions, yes. We're, we're revisiting these because, uh, check this out, we're about to embark in multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction of rationals, but we need to make sure we got simplifying rationals master, okay? So, remind your neighbor the definition for rational expressions. What would be, in their own words, what are rational expressions without looking at your notes? Rational expressions, tell your neighbor. What are they? All right, good communication. All right, write it on your screen. In your own words, without looking at your notes, what can you remember from rational expressions? Uh, the code that we're on right now is G8HF9. G8HF9. Type in the definition on your screen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, 
Here's one from one of your colleagues. They barely finished writing it on the screen. And they wrote what? Fraction, but that they have what? Polynomials on the numerator and denominator. Okay, so we saw that. There it is. All right. So let me go to my presentation. There they are. I covered the definition, and we said that we cannot have a zero on the denominator. That's why we started finding what? Excluded values. Yes? So then we covered, and by the way, even though I went pretty fast through the three steps, I said step one, excluded values. But look at step two. Factor completely. Now, even though I didn't get to the two examples to do in class so that you can actually see exactly what to do, do you know how to factor completely? Yeah, with that, you should have been, at least been able to think about, wait a minute, what can I do to the denominator if the step is to factor completely? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, with that said, we covered some of these and these and these. Copy this one, example one Star Wars cube. X squared minus 4 over X squared plus 3X plus 2. X squared minus 4 over X squared plus 3X plus 2. First thing that I want us to do is find the excluded value. Remind your neighbor what to do to get started to find our excluded value. Remind your neighbor. Then Mario is going to enlighten us. Remind your neighbor what to do to find the excluded values. Looks like Ashlyn's got it. Very good, Ashlyn. <laughs> All right. How do we get started, uh, Mario? What do I do? The denominator equal to zero. So let's write x squared plus 3x plus 2 and all that equal to zero. Do these look familiar? Yes, Mr. Q. What do I do next? Da, 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 da. Two, three. What factors of two add up to three, everyone? What? Two times one, yeah? So that means my factors are x plus two, x plus one, and all that equals to zero. Then set each of these equal to zero and solve. So x plus two equals to zero, x plus one equals to zero, minus two minus two, x equals negative two, minus one minus one, x equals negative 1, and my solution or my excluded value is negative 2 and negative 1. What does that mean? Tell your neighbor. What does that mean if those are excluded values? What does that mean? Then Mario is going to pass it to someone. What does that mean? Mario, pass someone. Okay. All right, Canyon. What do we do with those? What does that mean, negative two and negative one, if they are excluded? No? All right, help them out, uh, Mariah. What does that mean? That we can't use them in here. Why not? Because it becomes zero. That's why they are excluded. It's kind of like this. Let's say I said, uh, today I'm going to order pizza from Costco and some hot dogs from Costco. But the only people that are excluded are those that don't answer my questions. What? You see what I'm saying? All right. That's why we cannot use these. All right. So we're done with that. Next, let's go to simplify. This is something totally different. 
What is it, Mr. Q? Simplify to lowest terms. What does this say? Factor completely. Let's go to the numerator. How do we factor this? In yesterday's video lesson, we said that what? Square root of this, square root of this. Therefore, this is x plus 2, x minus 2. Yes? You guys watched that yesterday? What's that? What? You played it on the board? What do you mean? Oh, on the projector. You're like, what? All right. And then how do we factor this? Tell your neighbor the factors for this one. And then we're going to pass it to Geo so he can enlighten us. Factors for the denominator. Tell your neighbor what the factors are. All right. What you get, Geo? Yes, x plus 2 and x plus 1. Where did you get that from? Oh, we already did the work over here, Mr. Q. That's true. Those are my factors right there. All right, so step 2 is done. Giant 1. Do you see anything? Yes, this one. And that leaves us with x minus 2, x plus 1. Do another one, but before you do, send me your uh, work. Give me a second. Let me send you the screen. There it is. Send me your notes. Copy this one. Example one, MJQ. We got x squared minus 3x minus 4 over x squared minus 4. Now check this out. For this one, I don't want you to find me the excluded values. I just want it simplified. So what do I do, Mr. Q? Well, step two is to factor. And step three, simplify, or in other words, work, look for giant ones. All right? So, how do we factor the numerator? Tell your neighbor, and then Gio's going to pass it to someone. All right, Gio, pass someone. Jesus. So we got negative 4 on top, negative 3 on the bottom. What two numbers factored? Give us negative 4 and you add them, give us negative 3. Negative 4 and 1, positive 1. So my factors are x minus 4, x plus 1. All right, look up. The numerator is factored. Let's go to the denominator. Tell your neighbor the factors for this one. And then guess who's going to pass someone? Factors for that one. All right, Jesus. Danny? X plus 2, X minus 2. And how do we uh, get that? Well, the binomial subtraction. Can we take the square root of this? Yes x and x, square root of 4, positive 2 and negative 2. Yes. All right. And step 3, simplify giant 1s. Any giant 1s, guys? No? So that means we are done. This is simplified. Whenever you don't have any giant 1s, just box the whole thing. Let's do another one. Copy this one. And send me your notes, please, for that one, please. I want to see what you did. <laughs> Example, Power Rangers Q. 
we got 5x squared plus 45x plus 70 over x squared minus four, uh, 49. For this one, I only want it simplified, simplified. All right, so that means we start from step two, which is to factor completely, top and bottom. And step three, simplify, which means identify any giant ones, okay. All right, Tammy went last, so look up, guys. Tell your neighbor the factors for the denominator, and then Tammy's going to pass it to someone for the denominator. All right, pass on one, Tommy. Jesus. X minus 7. X plus 7. Hands, have you got that? All right. Let's go to the numerator. Tell me with the numerator. It says factor completely. Hmm. What shall I do there? Is it a standard form? Yes. Can we check for GCF? Yeah. What is our GCF? Everyone? 5, and that leaves us with x squared plus 9x plus 14. Yeah. Can we continue factoring this one? Yes. Jesus, pass them one so they can help me with this one right here. Geo. Did, 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 did. What goes on top? 14 and below. What two factors give us 14 that when you add them give us 9? Seven and two, that is correct. So my factors are x plus 7, x plus 2, but don't forget who, the 5. All right, any giant ones, Geo? Yeah, the x plus 7, that is correct. So that leaves us with 5 times x plus 2 over x minus 7. All right, send me your notes on your screen. All right. Copy this same one. And let's uh, make this uh, Star Wars Q. Star Wars Q. Same one, but instead of simplifying, I just want you to find me the excluded values. Excluded values. All right. All right, tell your neighbor what to do to get started for the excluded values. What do we do first? Sebastian, what do we do? Close. We first denominator equal to zero. Yes. X squared minus 49 equal to zero. And then you said what? U square roots? Okay. So then... We can do that. So plus 49 plus 49. X squared equals 49. And if we're doing square roots to solve, so that means square root of this, square root of that. X equals what? Plus minus 7. 
So my excluded values are positive 7 and negative 7. Yes? Did anybody solve this a uh, different way? Anyone? No? You're like, no, we love these, Mr. Q. All right. Let me send you a screen so you can send me your notes. Let's see if you did this in a different way. It could pop up. All right, next copy, example number two. X squared minus 8X plus 16 over 3X squared minus 12. And for this one, I just want you to simplify it to lowest terms. Yeah, I see some of you uh, factored... Uh, Instead of using square roots on the previous one, that's good. You can either factor or use the square roots. Thank you. All right. So for this one, simplifying. So we need to, uh, step two, which is factor completely. And step three, simplify. Or our giant one. So? Look at the numerator, tell your neighbor what to do for that one. Then we're going to pass this one to Mariah to give us the first two factors of the numerator. All right, looks like Mariah's got it. What are your factors? X and X, and what else? We're using the power rating for this one, yes? 16, negative 8. So what two numbers multiply give me uh, positive 16, and when you add them, give us negative 8. Negative 4 times negative 4. That is correct. Negative times negative is a positive. So this is x minus 4, x minus 4. Okay. Go to the denominator. Factor the denominator. Pass them one, Mariah. Who? Ashlyn. All right. Is there a GCF? which is 3, so that leaves us with x squared minus 4. Can we factor x squared minus 4 more? Square root of x squared is x and x. Square root of 4 is positive 2 and negative 2. Do we have any giant 1s, everyone? No, so then we are done. All right, not bad, not bad. Send me your notes. There goes another one. Example 2Q. 2x squared y minus 50y over 2x squared plus 16x plus 30. And for this one, I only want it simplified. I don't want the excluded value.
Bless you. So we're looking at the numerator to get started. Let's see. Who haven't I called on? About uh, Geo. What is our GCF for those two, Geo? Two. What else? Y, yeah, that is correct. So that leaves us with X squared minus 25. However, can I factor this anymore? Yes. So I'll tell you never what to do for this inside of the parentheses, then Gio's going to pass it to someone. I'm going to bring the 2Y over here, and we need two factors for what's inside of the parentheses. Pass on one, Gio. Mario, what is, what are the two factors for this one? First of all, it's a binomial, it's minus, so therefore, what is square root of that? Oh, five, yes, five and five. X, one positive and one negative, yeah, there you go. Let's go. Let's go to the denominator. Is there a GCF for the denominator, people? Yeah, which is what? 2, that leaves us with x squared plus 8x plus 15. So in the denominator, I'm looking inside of the parentheses. So that's 15 and 8. Pass on one, Mario. 22 factors, and when you multiply, give us 15, and then you add them, give us 8. Who? Enrique. Oh, okay, go. Five, damn, five and three, that is correct. So we got X plus five, X plus three. Don't forget the BFF, which was what? Two? All right, giant ones. Tell you never what are my giant ones for that one. Giant ones. Renzo, do you see them? X plus 5 is 1. The 2s? Yeah, the 2s. That is correct. So that leaves us with Y, X minus 5, and X plus 3. All right, send me your notes, please. How are we doing? From one to five, I'll come to bar you now with simplifying uh, rational expressions. We got three, fours, fives, five, fours, okay. So let's do some more, yeah? Here we go. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one right here. Copy this one onto your paper, number seven from my screen. And we're only simplifying. All right. So we need to factor. Look at the numerator. What would be GCF for the numerator, everyone? One. That leaves us with X plus three. All right, denominator. Okay, neighbor, the two factors that multiply to give us negative 15, when you add them, give us negative two. Then Mons is gonna enlighten us with those numbers. Negative 15, negative two.
All right, Monza, numbers. Negative 5 and 3. Hands if you got that. That is correct. So my factors are x minus 5, x plus 3. So to our last step, any giant ones. Yeah, which are the x plus 3. So that leaves us with 1 over x minus 5. Send me your notes, please. I want you to do number eight by yourself. Number eight. Three x plus six over x squared plus three x plus two. Simplify. Uh, how about this one? Just because uh, some of y'all, your mind's playing tricks on you. All right, let's see. Factor completely. Who went last? Enrique? Was it you? Oh, no, Monse. Has someone Monse? Annette, uh, GCF for the numerator, 3, and that leaves us with x plus 2. Okay. Denominator, factors, pass someone. Abby, factors for the denominator. x plus 2, x plus 1. Hands have you got it to right there? All right. Giant ones, everyone. Just one, right? Right there. So that leaves us with 3 over x plus 1. Send me your notes, please. Hands if you got that by yourself. Yeah. Okay. We got this. All right. Let's go to number... Well, number 11. How about them apples? What's that? Uh, this is, but you're only going to do the uh, the odd ones. So I shouldn't do 11, right? Yeah, let's do number 10. Bam, let's go. Copy number 10. Good eye, good eye, Sean. Very good. Send you a blank screen for this one. See how you do with that one. All right, I need factors for the numerator. Pass someone, Abby. Joseph. X plus 7, X minus 7. That is correct. How about for the denominator? I need two factors for the denominator. Share with your neighbor, and then Joseph's going to pass someone. Factors for the denominator. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, Joseph, pass someone. Renzo. Factors for the denominator. X plus 1, X plus 7. Hands, have you got that? All right. Giant 1s. Renzo. X plus 7. And that leaves us with X minus 7 over X plus 1. That is correct. Send me that, please. 
Not bad, not bad. Let's go to, let's see, 9, 10. Go to 12. There's 12 on your screen, on my screen, sorry. All right. Looks like Mydeen's got this. Mydeen, GCF for the numerator. 1x, and that leaves us with x minus 2. Okay. We need factors for the denominator. Check with the neighbor what you got, and then Mydeen's going to pass that to someone. Factors for the denominator. Du, 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 du. All right, Mighty, pass someone. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Two numbers that multiply to give me eight, that when you combine, or negative eight, combine and give us two. Four. Negative two. That is correct. Let's go. X plus four. X minus 2, my giant 1, and that leaves us with X over X plus 4. Remind your neighbor why we can't take away these X's right here. Remind your neighbor why can't we? Why can't we? Joseph, pass them one. Mario, why can't we take out these X's right here? Because of the addition sign. That is correct. Yeah, we can only do it with multiplication. Send that in, please. So, I'm going to stop right there. Video also there. Those of you following on YouTube, I hope this gave us plenty of practice because last time we didn't get to the trinomial ones and binomial ones, and we have plenty of time here in class to finish at least the rest of them, hopefully. All right, I'll stop the video right there. See you guys next time. Bye.